So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we could make a movie based on the most popular video game franchise out there. Oh, the Super Mario Brothers? That's not how it's pronounced. It might be. It's not. So anyway, I thought since this thing already has a bunch of fans, they'd all come see a movie if we made one. Wow, so tell me about this thing. How does it all start? Well, 65 million years ago, there were dinosaurs, right? Oh, okay, you're starting way back, okay. I sure am, sir. So in this movie, we're gonna be like, hey, what if the meteor that killed all the dinosaurs also created a parallel dimension where it didn't. Oh, sounds smart and sciency. And so in that other dimension, dinosaurs have evolved over the course of 65 million years. Wow, what did they evolve into? Pretty much into humans, but with different clothes. Oh, you're saying that over a long enough period of time, literally everything evolves into a human being, that's right. Is that, does that, is that scientific at all? Well, the word evolution is used in science, so yeah, for sure. Oh, well, okay then, carry on. So anyway, in modern day Brooklyn, we're gonna meet Mario and Luigi. Oh man, is he gonna introduce himself? like in the game, it's a me! No, cause see, this version's from Brooklyn, so he's gonna be more like, what are you talking about? Get out of here! So he's not gonna say, it's a me? He's not, but he is gonna say, I'm gonna break every bone in their bodies, and then I'm gonna kill them. Oh my god. Yeah, that is a real thing that Mario says in this movie. Well, it does have the potential to be as catchy as it's a me. Anyway, so Mario and Luigi live together, and they have a plumbing business, right? Oh yeah, they're plumbers in the game, huh? I kinda forgot about that. Yeah, we're just gonna go all in on the plumbing. It's gonna be one of the main things they talk about. Oh, going all in on plumbing is tight. It really is. And so we're gonna learn that Mario actually kinda raised Luigi, cause Luigi's parents weren't around. Wait, what, what happened to his parents? I don't know. And so we're saying that the Super Mario Brothers are not, they're not brothers? I guess so, but also we're gonna reveal that their last name is Mario. Their names are Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. That's what we're going with. Well, okay then. So we're gonna meet this girl, Daisy, who's being stalked by these two bad guys, Iggy and Spike, and we're gonna learn that they're from the bad dimension. That can't be good. And so Daisy develops like a romantic thing with Luigi, but then she gets kidnapped through this portal to Dino Hatton. Dino Hatton? Yeah, it's like Manhattan, but in the Dino Dimension. Oh, so it's Dino Hatton instead of Manhattan? That's right, because I assume that the man in Manhattan is to specify what species lives there. You know, I actually read that it's derived from a Native American language and it means island of many hills. Now, I'm pretty sure it's the word man with Hatton slapped on the end. Hatton meaning... I don't know. For some reason, I'm convinced. So it's basically New York down there also, like there's a Statue of Liberty. So history unfolded exactly the same, like Dino France gave a gift to Dino US? Yeah, sure, I don't care. So anyway, Mario and Luigi go into this portal too. And all they have to work off of is this little rock necklace that they got off of Daisy when she was going through. Wow, 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 wow. So they end up in this weird city and it's ruled by President Koopa. Kind of like King Koopa, like Bowser? Yeah, exactly like Bowser, except, you know, not like Bowser at all. Oh, okay. And Koopa's whole thing is that he wants that little rock necklace I mentioned. Cause that's a little piece of the meteorite and for some reason that'll merge our dimensions together. Why does he want that? Cause he wants to live in our dimension. Can he just you know, go through the portal thing. But it wasn't open till now. But it's open now. It is, yeah. He sent his henchmen through it. But Koopa's not gonna go through. That's right. Why? Because that works. Also, Koopa really wants to turn us all into monkeys. What? Yeah, he has like this de-evolver machine he wants to use on us. What are, you, what are you talking about? It's this thing he uses to de-evolve people. Like, you know, Toad? Oh, Toad, the cute little mushroom guy. Exactly, yeah. Except in this movie, he's like a, you know, 40-year-old street musician. What? Why? Well, that's actually a really good question. I don't, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, so anyway, Koopa puts this toad guy into the machine and it turns him into a Goomba. Oh, Goombas like the little angry mushrooms with the big heads from the games? Yeah, exactly like that, except not like that at all. Oh, what do you mean? See, these Goombas have like tiny lizard heads and gigantic bodies. So are there any mushrooms in this movie? I feel like there were a lot of those in the games. Oh, well, there's actually gonna be this fungus everywhere that's actually Daisy's father and it wants to help, but it can't talk because it's fungus and it used to be king. Okay, okay, I mean, that sounds you know, completely insane. A big old fungus all over the place and it wants to help. And that's the only mushroom? Well, I mean, unless you want to count the mushrooms I ate while coming up with this stuff. Oh, did you, while you were writing, take some magic mushrooms? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. They were just, they were just portobello mushrooms. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, 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 you thought, you thought that I took. Yeah, no, I thought that maybe, I thought that. Yeah, no, no, I did, I didn't. Okay, yeah, no, okay, okay. Yeah, no, that would have completely messed with my acid trip. Oh my god. So anyway, Mario and Luigi are gonna run around this city trying to escape the Goombas and trying to get this necklace back. Wait, what happened to the necklace? This big angry woman, Big Bertha, stole it. Big Bertha? Yeah, she's kind of a reference to that big red fish from Super Mario. I don't know, I don't care. Well, is it gonna be hard? 
hard for them to get it back from her? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yes, see Mario dances with her at a nightclub and shoves his face into her cleavage and he manages to get it back. Very child appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's Koopa up to this whole time? Oh, well, he's gonna try to get intimate with Daisy. Oh, no. Yeah, he's gonna tell her, you know what they say about little girls, don't you? They never forget the first time they were kissed by a lizard. I am just so, so very horrified. And so eventually Mario's gonna go save his girlfriend. Wait, what? His girlfriend? Princess Peach? No, no, just some girl from Brooklyn. It turns out she was kidnapped too. Okay, I mean, okay. And then Luigi is gonna save Daisy, and they're gonna shoot Koopa with a de-evolver gun, which turns him into a dinosaur, and then into like a slimy goo. Into slimy goo? Yeah, because maybe dinosaurs were slime before they were dinosaurs. I don't, I don't care. Well, okay then. And so then Mario and Luigi go back home, and Daisy stays behind. How come? Because she wants to reconnect with her dad. He's not a fungus anymore. He's human. How did that happen? I don't know. It just happened when they killed President Koopa. How? Oh my god. I don't care. I do not. I, I don't care. Okay, alright. And so then at the end, Daisy's gonna bust into their apartment and be like, I need your help. Come on, let's go. What? Well, we're probably gonna make a sequel. I mean, we don't even know if people are gonna like a movie based on a video game. Well, these video game franchises have built-in audiences. We have to keep trying, even if it doesn't work on this one. I just feel like maybe people will realize that it's a cash grab. Let's just, let's just try it out. Let's give it a shot. Okay. For a few decades. What? Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you like that pitch meeting. There are over 100 episodes of pitch meeting on the channel that you could check out. I also have some other videos on there, so click around. Also, let me know in the comment section what other movies you'd like to see these pitches for. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell button, the button button. I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.